Hello guys, you can all hear today's deck is a bit of a doozy, mostly due to the fact it's a new take on a deck I've done already, like four years ago. Damn, time sure flies when you're having fun, isn't it? Anyway, that's beside the point. So now let's go through the deck explanation. A little history on the deck. I've made it during what I call my Shadol phase. I basically mixed the various attributes with Shadol just to make use of the various fusion monsters, even the bad ones. That got me such gems as Frog Shadol, Heroic Shadol, Evil Swarm Shadol, Speedroid Shadol, and of course, Volcanic Shadol. I've chosen this variant for two reasons. The consistency is one of them. With Reload and Shell's ability to grab more copies of itself, the draw power is pretty decent. On top of that, Royal Firestorm Guard can recycle and draw too, giving even more draw power. The other reason with this is also tied to Blaze Accelerator Reload and the fact that it's a Blaze Accelerator card. Meaning, should Volcanic Scattershot be sent to the graveyard via its effect, your opponent will lose all their monsters and 1500 life points on top of that. So now, let's go through all the cards in the deck. Our Volcanic Engine is very standard. Triple Rockets, Free Shell, Triple Scattershock and Triple Reload, followed by three Firestorm Guards. Nothing to see here, just consistency and board wipes. Now we're going to the Shadol part of the deck. Double Beast for the draw power and Synergy of Incarnation for even more draw power. One Dragon because Bloodgates exist and I hate them with a passion. Triple Squamata and Triple Wendy for some deck thinning and field presence. Finishing our monster lineup is one Hedgehog, which is primarily used to search out monsters. Rarely does his flip effect come into play anyway. For the non-monster section of the Shadol part of the deck we have Double Incarnation, Double Skill and double fusion. Incarnation is here mostly to maintain field presence as well as flip beast during the opponent's turn, boosting the draw power even further. I don't think Schism needs any introduction. A spell speed 2 summoning of a Shadow fusion monster by banishing cards from the graveyard is a powerful effect. I should know, that's what Buster Blader has been doing for years. When it comes to Shadow fusion, I opted to play 2 mostly due to Schism existence. With the deck having so much discard and sandy power, Schism would be the better route to take. Not to mention, the effect to use monsters from the deck can only be used when the opponent controls a monster summoned from the extra deck. The effect is powerful, but it's useless on turn 1, and on turn 2, when it's actually alive, the usual board the opponent has would negate that card. Anyway, that would be it for the archetypal stuff. For non-archetypal things, we've got double summoner monk for summoning rocket from the deck that's important for two reasons. Rocket can surge reload upon any summon, even from the deck. Not to mention that it sets up rank 4 play, which in most cases going to be either Abyss Dweller or Baguska, at least in turn 1. For the spells we have Triple Magic Plunder for even more draw power. This is additionally useful with Reload because the only hard ones from turn effect this card has is its first one. The Engrave effect can still be used after using the on-field effect, meaning you can first draw a card, use Magic Plunder to draw even more card, after which a field wipe would be in order. One Flood Burial Goods for sending that Reload to the graveyard, it's not the most preferable way of doing that, but but should there be no other option, this is still a decent play. One Upstart Goblin for additional draw power, one Flush Burial because most of this deck loves hitting the grave, and Monster Reborn because it's Monster Reborn, damn it. For the extra deck, we have two copies of the star of the deck, El Shadol Grista. The effect of this card is interesting because it can negate an inherent special summon by sending a Shadow card to the graveyard. It's a hard once per turn, but it's still disruptive enough to cause some havoc and pressure the opponent. One App Cologne, this doesn't need introductions, none targeting negation is always very good, especially in a format where Red Eyes Dark Dragoon exists. Double window because it's window, what else do you want him to say here? For the Xyz package we're running the lightning thingy, one tornado dragon which can be used in the same fashion as magic planta, destroying reload after its on-field effect was used and get the engrave effect a chance to shine. One baguska because this is somewhat of a control deck, one castell for non-destruction removal and to reset shadow monsters, one minerva because the deck likes milling, one emerald to recycle all of those scatter shot and give us more draw power, one abyss well to have that lingering effect and be oppressive and we're ending on the F0 package. This deck isn't very keen on doing all the Xyz play so this is here just in case, however you just cannot deny the sheer power Utopic Dragoon has. Anyway that's it for this deck's introduction. Should this be taken to a tournament? Like with the Red Ice Buster Blader deck the idea is there but I also think my execution was lacking. Grista isn't as oppressive as Winda but it's still hard to ignore a Solemn Strike 
with 2450 attack points. In a slower format, this would be a viable rogue option. Right now, I'm not so sure. Anyway, that's enough rambling. Enjoy your replays.